Kilauea. Looks like a really special place. Behold the home of Pele Honuamea. See the smoke rising from the sides. That's people. Hard to explain. It feels like the magnetic pull of the earth is stronger. It's almost like I'm standing on a magnet. Truly in awe. Well, we've all been celebrating our birthdays all week and we're peaking with Destiny's birthday tomorrow or tonight at midnight at the volcano. Stacy, she was just birthday. telling us about what happened last year. A lot of people lost their homes. We lost 700 homes last year down in Kahoa. Um, this, you're at Holly Mau Mau um, volcano right now. This had the lava in it and it disappeared. What you're looking at today is uh, 128 acres. It was 12 acres before. Wow. But we had 24 fissures erupt down in Leilani Estates, resulting in 700 of our homes down there, even more that aren't reported. This is Kupona Street from my backyard. This is the lava falling into the cabin from fissure number 24 on May 27th. I only missed the disaster by 160 feet. I was evacuated out of my home for eight months. 121 days in a shelter with a goose, a rabbit, two teenagers, and two dogs. Wow. Um, Got a little tornado going here on Fisher 8, June 19th. Incredible. Um, we closed down here at Volcano House for five months because we had 80,000 earthquakes during the eruption. My backyard, that tinder cone formed overnight. You can see I'm still safe. And the house is still standing. Pretty incredible stuff. But we all survive. It's Mother Nature. You have to embrace it and just be amazed every day that our earth is still moving. We're talking about sustainability, that you guys are replanting the trees. Correct. So when the lava comes and covers the land, and then you bring a bulldozer in to smash down the material that comes out of the volcano, um, we have to reintroduce nutrients into it. So bringing in the bulldozer, then we take coffee grounds and ash from this restaurant here. The Volcano House is very instrumental in replanting everything. We mix it with compost and then we reseed um, our grass, um, our bananas, our fruit trees. Wow. So by healing the land, we're healing ourselves. It's like a different landscape out here, Jurassic Park. Tiny thing there. Fisher 8. We've got our lava river going here. It's June 30th. This is Stacy Welch. Did a lot of people get hurt? Not a lot of people got hurt. Lava okay. moves very, very slowly at some points. It can move up to 25 miles per hour if it's in a river. Um, however, there's quite a bit of warning and you can actually hear the sound of a fissure starting to blow and you can actually watch it um, from zero to just being a bush to a giant mountain. This is Stacy Welch's backyard. Complete, total devastation here. This is uh, the canyon that the waterfall pitchers went into. Back this way, you can see our house. Oh, I'm glad not many lives were lost because I thought I had seen him post about it. And I thought, oh my God, homes though. People lost homes and properties. Homes, memories, everything is 40 to 80 feet, 80 feet 
been doing it for a lot of that. Yeah. And it's just really hard because you really can't grasp it until you actually stand on the lava and just look. And you, people think that there's a roof left, there's a pipe left, but there's absolutely nothing left. The, the lava just comes through and clears the land. Wow. So we have to replant, restart, and relocate. <laughs> Can you tell me one little typical Hawaiian superstition about how not how to tame the lava? I saw all this art yesterday and I saw that they were like giving bits of their hair and they believe that if you appease Pele, do you know any of that? Correct. So there's gin. A lot of people leave gin on the lava field. Um, there's tea leaves. We leave tea leaves. Um, flowering, flowers and offering, anything like that is supposed to protect That's you. beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. Neat. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Stacey. I really appreciate that you were willing to talk to me about it. Aloha, guys. Aloha. Amazing characters, and there's a tiki light. That's all you can see. You can see the heat and stuff. Which over there is really not visible on my phone. 